Hi guys, hey guys. this is Dee, and we are more for the for culture. The culture. Uh, thanks so much for all the support we've been receiving. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our subscribers up and we're really appreciative. Mm -hmm. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to like and subscribe. Yep. We want to stay connected with you guys. We want to communicate about different restaurants, black owned businesses, mm -hmm. minority owned businesses, women owned businesses. Please reach out to us. We want to hear from you guys. Yep. So, so, we have a new spot we want to discuss. Yep. Melting Pot Cuisine yep. out here in Long Island City, Queens. So again, I'm in Queens. Um, she came to visit me. I, I came to visit. Thank and um, so Melting Pot Cuisine is a Jamaican Caribbean restaurant. Um, I did find parking. Um, it was a little tight. I did have to drive around quite a few times, but it is a holiday out here. It's President's Day. Um, it was easily accessible, the building. I was able to come right in. There was no stairs or anything like that. I found Tiff sitting there because she was actually there early this yes, time. So, one. yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, met her at the table. Um, shortly after, the waitress did come by, greeted us. You know, she was really um, nice. You know, she went through the menu with us. So, um, I got the stew chicken with rice and peas and mm -hmm. plantain and cabbage. Still also, yeah, I did. <laughs> That's like my go-to. Yeah, like, if you too. know how to do a stew chicken, yeah. Um, um, then I know you know what to do with everything else. I also ordered um, a side order of plantains, an uh, order of uh, coconut shrimp with white rice. It came with cabbage and also plantains. Everything came out in like plastic containers yeah. on like a tray. So to go like take out. Yeah, like a takeout yeah. cafeteria feel. So just to get you a little bit more acquainted with the place, the decor there is, um, you know, kind of basic. That's I mean, cool. you know, very dated. Mm -hmm. They had plastic white tablecloth and they had like the little uh, plastic flowers um, mm -hmm. you know I guess for the whole Valentine's Day uh, <laughs> holiday so they had that there um, you know just so you know I wouldn't give it like you know five stars for decor or anything but as far as the food and the service I would definitely say it's a good place so uh, I did use the restrooms there and you know it's dated mm -hmm. like the whole place but it was clean it's a very clean um, yeah. restroom um, you know well lit as far as the menu the menu was like classic uh, Caribbean uh, menu you know they had oxtails they had jerk chicken they had uh, patties they had roti they have everything that you pretty much would um, curry chicken curry goat um, everything that you will, you know, traditionally find in a Caribbean menu. Um, I didn't see any alcohol drinks or anything like that. You know, we did order water, bottled water. They don't have uh, water in a glass that they can give you or any filtered water. Um, you have to buy the bottled water. Um, and I don't even think it's an option to get like glass and ice or any of that. You know, they just gave us a like, cold bottle of water. Okay. So yeah, so it's very because very they are selling everything. Everything is for sale. <laughs> so um, as far as like it being kid friendly um you know definitely was able to find things that my son would enjoy but actually noah did not I come know, we miss him. We miss yes him. he was missed he was not in the building uh he yeah. spent some time with his dad so He's it was busy. just us girls um and you we had a good time get on his schedule well, no. it was very difficult yeah he's a very busy little man he's busy yeah booked Okay, so, you know, yeah, we were able we to move forward without him, <laughs> but I would say that you would be able to find things for your child as on this menu. There's fried chicken, there's different oh, things, mac and stuff. cheese. Yeah, yeah, mac and cheese was even on the menu. So, you know, definitely you would be able to find something for your child. Um, also, um, as far as like accommodations, if, you know, a wheelchair or special needs or anything like that, the only thing is in the bathroom area, you have to go up a step. Um, to go into the bathroom. So they would need help with the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. So overall, I would give this place a four out of five. I mean, even mm -hmm. though the decor is dated, it definitely it didn't take away from their uh, service and it didn't take away from their food. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, Tim, so hey. melting pot cuisine, what you think? Uh, Okay, guys, so <laughs> like you said, melting pot cuisine, Um, for those of you in the area or just wanna come check it out or see how far it is, it's 3601 Vernon Boulevard in Long Island, city um and so their site says that they're open from like 7 to 8 p.m i don't know how true that is i got there first for a first <laughs> um i sat down waited a couple minutes for d actually i did not get there first actually you got there first in part see i was giving her she was so sweet i was giving her a vlog but yeah i definitely was there before her <laughs> Um, the menu was cool. It was like a paper menu and plastic. Like he said, everything was kind of dated. Um, but sometimes you don't mind that when it's like a, it's like if your parents would open a restaurant 20 years ago and they're not trying to, you know, they're not trying to change anything. No. 
Not like they want to update to like, you know, certain things. So no, I, get, I get why it's like that. Yeah, I did go to the bathroom as well and I took pictures for you guys. Um, it was interesting because for a unisex one stall, one room kind of bathroom, there's a urinal as soon as you walk in and then there's also a toilet, <laughs> but no barriers. It's just like in the same room. Like, you walk in, you're like, oh, am I in the men's room? No, I guess I could do this too. It's okay, weird. it's weird. Yeah. It's true that when you first step out of the bathroom, you have to go down like two steps awkwardly. <laughs> like a little like two steps or maybe three steps just to get back to the dining area. Yeah. If you're wearing heels or if you're older, you know, or if you're in a wheelchair, the bathroom's not really that accessible. I don't think they have another um, wheelchair accessible bathroom. So that's they something to consider for you guys. So the food, um, I got jerk chicken. Sorry, I didn't take a picture. I was really hungry. The jerk chicken was really good. Very seasoned, not dry. Um, the portions are pretty good for the prices. Oh yeah. I paid $10 for a medium size and that was like two portions in there. And I for think sure. it's $12 for the large. I can't imagine having more food than that. You don't need no. it. The, um, I had the roti without anything on it just because I wanted something on the side to see how it is. It was fresh. It was warm. It was, it was really good. It was fluffy it was not what else did i oh beef patty i asked for a jerk chicken patty um and they didn't have any more but she offered me a beef patty so we split that and it was delicious yeah. honestly i'm impressed because for a caribbean place they had everything on the menu that right because i thought some of you guys are right some of you guys don't understand what that means but you gotta get there early what they have is what they have they run out of things it happens all the time especially the time. with patties yeah they always run out i kind of thought that they were going to say that with the coconut shrimp yeah but she was just saying that it's made to order so it's going to take a while to make mm -hmm. but she did not say she did not have it right so and that they made, was it, they made awesome. it fresh and they warned you about the time yes i would overall give it a um four out of five i think okay we yes. agree we agree we agree i would give it four out of five um i did hear though though we did not do delivery i see a lot of you guys online saying that the delivery is awful because they it takes up to two hours Damn. so just be mindful of that i mean i'm pretty sure they need to hire probably more staff or they need to buy into like grubhub and seamless like you know delivery staff to just fix that issue they don't have a lot of competition so i don't think they're if they're making money i don't know if they're interested in changing that but that's just a really big thing if they are interested in doing Absolutely. that they do. but i think that's it i can believe we yeah. agree yeah we agree four yeah. out of five definitely check five. it out the mm -hmm. melting pop cuisine out here in queens long island city that's right um we want to speak with you guys we want to hear from you whether you have music that you wouldn't like yes like the music you hear in this video right now exactly um check out the links um, below we're going to tell you exactly what artists are featured in every video so I mean, yeah just send us um an email more for the culture at gmail.com that's more m-o-r the number four t-h-e-c-u-l-t-u-r-e -E. we just want to say you know we really appreciate you like yep. subscribe and we out peace